Welcome back. They're practicing across the street, but we won't hear that in a minute. I'm going to split up some of this firewood. I backed up the tractor. I'm going to use a three-point splitter. And um, we're going to leave it on the ground like it is. It's got legs on it. I'm going to split up some of this wood. I don't know how far I'll get. It's about 46 degrees, windy. I'm getting kind of cold, so I'm going to get some work going here just to warm me up. I want to split this up. Some of it's kind of crappy looking wood. That'll be like camp wood for our little fire pits. We got a couple of them. And then I got some in here that's pretty good firewood. So I'm going to split it kind of small and then just chuck it on the uh, dump trailer. That way I don't have to pick it up again. Then when I get over to my uh, racks where I, I let it dry, um, I tilt the trailer up. It comes to the back a little bit so I can reach it. I don't want to bend down, pick it up ten times, that kind of thing. But you have to handle your firewood seven times, whatever. Let's get started. Um, I'm going to run the tractor at low RPM, just above idle. Usually around 12, less than 1,500 RPM. The splitter does real well when you rev it up. I don't like that. It's a little, you know, rough around equipment. So the splitter is a little slower. I think it's about a 30 ton. But that's good enough for me. It gives me time to relax a little bit. I find splitting firewood a little relaxing when it's, uh, you know, the temperatures are bearable. It's a little windy, but I'll get warmed up. And the trick is, it's got auto return. I wish it had auto forward and return, so you're just setting it up there. But as long as it splits, you pop it back and get in quickly so it doesn't return all the way, the turnaround isn't too bad. And I didn't want a gasoline engine. I thought one right off the tractor. That way, if I take it out in the woods, I don't have a gasoline engine running where I'm worried about sparks, where, you know, you need a spark arrestor on the exhaust. Um, in the leaves and so on so and it's more mobile you can hook it on a tractor and lift it versus a trailer and you know trying to have a hitch on something so that was my idea when I purchased it I've had this for well since I've been here anyway it's been it's at least 10 12 years old works great pretty quiet it doesn't use a lot of diesel if you control your throttle so let's get started um, I'll do a little bit, and then I'll probably do time lapse because it'll get, you know, boring, very boring quickly. So let's see how this thing will run. I just hooked it up, and um, I don't know how much fuel's in the tractor here, but I think it's got a half a tank anyway, right? Yeah. So I can do all this wood on this tank easily. That's about 1400 RPM, that's all.
I'm gonna set this up on time lapse and uh, see how much I can get done here before dinner tonight. I gotta go in and make some chili or something. See that the fuel gauge I've been out here a little under two hours it was very efficient not fast but look how much we got on the trailer we got almost half a load and I've got just about well, a little bit over half split so far but Dawson came out and said hello and I said if you want to give me a hand Go ahead and throw these chunks over on the other side so I don't walk around. And he went back in the house. I thought he went to get his gloves and he, he stayed inside. So I'm going to give up, go in and make some dinner. It's windier and crazy out here. It's about 40 now. I'm kind of cold. But this works out good. I'll come out probably tomorrow sometime. Give the rest of this a cut. I think we probably got about two face cord, probably another one here, so probably about three face cord out of this. It's junky wood, some of it's pretty nice, and some is like 90% water, so I'm splitting it real small, and uh, there's some in there that's shorts, you know, on the end of the log, you get a 10 inch or something, and uh, that'll go right in the little fire pit. And the iffy wood, that's going to go in the garage just to give me a little heat. We're going to dry it first. And then uh, 
the good stuff we're going to put in the building once it's dry and keep replenishing our supply that stays dry so thanks for watching maybe i'll post this video you know what maybe i'll finish all this up and then post the video see how much we get on that load and then see how much fuel usage we use in the old new holland so probably see you tomorrow blink your eye well good morning i decided to come right out fresh in the morning get this finished up we got a little white stuff last night got a little bit of snow i think i'll fire up the tractor let's see what it'll do on a cold start ah <sighs> here it comes you know probably be a tough winter what i hear so i think what i'll do is i'll go ahead and fire it up warm it up throw the wood on the other side i don't want to work backwards and uh ideally if the splitter was on this side now it'd be nice but it's not so i'll throw the wood on the other side while the tractor's warming up let's see how this baby cranks see if it likes the cold about as much as i do we definitely got to do the glow plugs and usually i let them sit on till the light goes out Come on, baby, warm her up. You know it's cold, it does that. My hands get cold I come over by the exhaust and warm them up. I'll throw this wood on over and get started.
one of the last ones I can find here. I've been out here just under an hour, so this is about three hours of splitting. It's cold this morning. You see the snow out here. My fingers are cold. My toes are cold. Try to work as fast as you can to stay warm. You see, some of these are gnarly, you know. You gotta adjust them. When there's a branch coming out, you tend to wanna split kind of crooked, you know. Some of this wood's pretty decent. Most of it's really wet, so I'm cutting it small, splitting it small. Might be able to get this, you know, to burn in early spring, February, March, something like that. And so, when I'm done, I like to clean out this little trowel tray in there. Because it'll freeze right in there, you know. Keep the debris out. Cover up the cylinder. Try to get this tray out. And then let's go see what we got here. Try to estimate how much we got. We got, well, let's go to the tractor first, kind of loud. We've got how much fuel in there? Looks like about three quarters. So we used about a quarter of a tank. We run about 1500 RPM or so today. I think we ran about 1400 yesterday. And so we used about a quarter tank of diesel. The uh, TC25D, 25 horse, three cylinder. That used, uh, that's a seven gallon tank. So we used about a quarter of that. Diesel's about what, four bucks a gallon? About $8 to split that much wood. This is a dump trailer that's uh, seven, six and a half. I think it's just over six and a half feet by 12. I got a couple pieces here on the ground that fell out. I'm guessing I got three to four face cord on there anyway. And I'm going to go put it in our log racks over there and let it dry. Some of this stuff is kind of punky. Some of this uh, beach. There's a, uh, I don't know if you caught it on the film there. Let's see if I can find one. I don't know if I can now. But there's a termite. It looks like a termite in a white worm. They didn't like it too much when I split it open. They don't like, you know, daylight. I don't know why they're still living when it's this cold out. But So some of this, see this has some, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's like mushroom on it. But it's pretty punky. So this is good enough maybe for the garage once it's dry. Or fire pit. There's uh, some that are stringy. You saw me do that burl. It's like it's kind of like a burl. There's like a branch went like four different ways. And it has a big knot. And I like the challenge of trying to split them. And they're pretty darn hard to do. Because the branches go different ways. Your grain goes up and out and back and around. And it's kind of cool and then we got some decent stuff here this is pretty nice pretty light and we could probably burn that in about a month and uh but i gotta clean up this mess i'm gonna scrape this off any of this stuff that was out in the woods uh, a lot of this i could see from the driveway i said ah, i better get that in here at uh it's better in here than out there, but now it's it can rot down a lot quicker too. When you got a log form sitting out there, it'll take years. When you get it busted down to this, and it's about a year, and it's gone, you know, it turns into sawdust. The uh, ants and the whatever get after it. Um, some woodpeckers got in a couple trees on the other side. A great big beach. It's I don't I think I can't get my arms around it. So it's probably a a 30, 36 inch. That has to come down. Big holes in it from woodpecker. So there's insects in it. And uh, so I got a mess. I got to go stack this now. Um, economical on fuel. Three hours. Uh, eight bucks worth of fuel, I'm guessing. 
Splitter works great. It's a little slow, you know. But it's not loud. You can uh, hear other things. A car, you can hear a car on the road out there, I guess. But uh, birds going over. Better than those uh, gas units that are screaming at 3,800, 3,600 RPMs. Um, and gas isn't cheap either. But this diesel is economical, I think. So I got a mess to clean up. I'll get to use a bucket on this. I'll move this over get this stacked. Thanks for staying along with me. And uh, winter's coming. We got to get our wood in. See you soon.